Hey guys, it's Seb from Zulu8 and today I'm going to answer the question, how do I create an infinite white room? I'm going to show you how to do this natively in Cinema, I'm also going to show you how to do it in Octane. So let's jump right in, let's get your classic scene together, get a floor plane, get a nice sphere, let's raise it up. Might make that a little bigger. Let's get a light source, I'll use your infinite light. Bring that up, let's rotate it so that we get a shadow under the plane. We also need to turn our shadows on. Let's go visibility, oh sorry, <laughs> shadows, and go to area. Well, I prefer area, whatever you're looking for. And if we hit render now, you know what we get, boom. So the main object we'll be using to achieve this look is called your background object. So let's get that, let's create a material for it. Go into your color channel, and you want to use the gradient. Go into your gradient and change it from 2D U to 2D circular. And we want to invert these two sides because we want it to be white in the middle to a slight gray on the outside, giving that sort of studio look. So let's do like a lighter gray, probably about 70%. That looks good. So let's drag that onto our background. And if we hit render, it's in our background, what a surprise. So we now need to blend this plane into the background. So we can apply the same texture. We do this by changing the mapping from UV to your frontal. And if you hit render again, it's the same color, but we still get this issue of the perimeter and you can obviously see the plane. So to blend it into your, your background, we'll basically composite it into your background. You need a Cinema 4D tag and it's your compositing tag. You go into this and tick compositing background. And so essentially that will blend it into the background and will give us the result that we want. Boom. So this is great. This is essentially how you do it natively. You can zoom in and out. Um, but let's say you wanted to add reflections in there as well. So let's create another material that has reflection. Why is this so big? Let's get a nice blue. Let's go to the reflectance. I don't like the default. I like the Beckmans. Change it from average to additive. Let's put up the roughness just a bit and put down the strength just a bit. Let's throw this on our sphere. And so it needs something to reflect, obviously. So let's get your sky object. Create another material for it. And in here, you want to go to your color channel, texture, and you want, I've got a nice HDRI image here. It's of a street next to a park, I think. Let's load that. Let's apply it to our sky. And if we hit render, we see it in the reflections, but we also see it in the background. So to get it, to get rid of it in the background, we've got to use the same compositing tag and tick untick scene by camera so let's do it again give it a quick render we got the working shadows we got the working reflections and we've got this infinity room you can zoom out as fast as you like and you still get the same effect so this is how you do it natively i'll just unhide one of our zulu 8 logos apply that same texture so it's great for texts it's great for you know abstract art stuff for your instagram anything like that and boom looks great so I'm going to show you now how to do it in Octane so the first step is to change your render settings obviously from your standard or physical to your Octane let's get your live viewer up and let's just send the information by hitting this cogwheel thing and obviously Octane has its own set of materials and lighting systems that it only works with um, so let's start creating those materials. Go create shader, octane, octane material. Let's create another shiny blue one. Let's make it glossy. Let's get that blue. Might put up the index, make it really reflective. And maybe the roughness, just a bit. Why not? Let's apply that to our object. Objects. 
obviously you can drag there's two ways of doing that you can drag over um, delete the old ones let's hide our sky native sky and our light and let's create an octane light so I'm going to use your octane daylight it's kind of like your infinity light with a lot more customization you can put in the time and as you change the time it changes the color of the day the sunlight so on and so forth um, so this is what we're getting we've got the plane let's also create a texture for the plane and white diffuse is fine so this is what we're getting in our octane we see this blue horizon and this is because of our octane daylight system and so the first thing to get rid of that is you want to go into your octane settings and you want to tick alpha channel Boom. so then that will bring in our initial background object which is the infinity looking thing and we run into another issue which is our plane it's still there it's still visible and so what we want is to get rid of the plane the geometry but we still want it to catch the shadows obviously so you do this by going into the material that it's using your octane material go into common and tick matte and what that will do is catch the shadows but delete the geometry so this is essentially how you do it um, but let's say you wanted to get some reflection in there so let's get a HDRI environment from your octane let's go into your image texture and let's load that same park image and straight off the bat we see that it's not working and this is because our octane daylight is essentially blocking our octane sky and so what we need to do to unblock it is to go into your daylight tag and in your tag you want to tick a mix sky texture and as soon as you do that we see the reflections working but we get another tiny issue I don't know why in particular it happens but the shadows as they land on the plane seem to alpha channel through and you can see the ground from the HDRI and so the final little fix for this is to go into your octane settings and you want to untick keep environment so that gives us the pure shadow that we want the reflections that we want and the infinity room so this is how you do it in octane guys um, it's also how you do it natively. If you like what you saw here today, like and subscribe for more. I'm Seb from Zulu8. Thanks for watching.